What's good, people? Yes, we're on Fuel Content, and before you ask once again, yes, it is daytime. But there is one thing that y'all expect me to do that I'm not going to do in this video. You see, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll know that the M82 is pretty much my go-to rifle as of right now. But what if I told you I'm not going to use the M82? Instead, I'm going to use a damn revolver. That's right. I'm going to be using a 629 on field hunting. Could I have done this with an M82? Oh yeah, definitely. But would it be as fun? No. Honestly, it, it really would not be as much fun. But here's what's crazy. This guy had a shotgun and then an L85 on field content. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Which is the more mad choice, if you will? A shotgun on field content or a revolver on field content? I'm going to say... The shotgun, purely because, I mean, yeah, you can stun, but you gotta be at a certain range. In other words, I'm saying that requires a bit more skill. If not, it'll be more fun when you get a kill. But with the 629, you can hit someone and stun them, and it's gonna be guaranteed. Compared to the shotgun, which is range dependent. See what I'm saying? But, I mean, hey, the comment section's there for a reason. Also, there's someone up there. I don't know if you saw that. But you hear that. There's a guy up there. And from the sound of it, one person has an L85 and another person has an M14. Which of the two is more dangerous? I'm going to say the M14. Why? Because no glint. And he just killed someone else, so he definitely knows what he's doing. Actually, that was him killing someone else. The initial shots was just trying to hit him. And you wonder why I say the M14 is a little bit broken? Well, that's why. It's essentially an M21 without a scope that has a blisteringly fast fire rate. Now, I could sit here and take a couple shots, but at range, the 629 is not that good. So I'm going to reserve my stealth. And this right here made me realize this guy... is a killer. Now how did he get that threat? I don't know. Maybe he was just in the right place at the right time. But then I get ported. There's only one person that's near me. It gotta be him. And look at him. He's on the rocks trying to find me. So he knows that there was a person on this side of, you know, the container. And we all know those matches on field hunting where someone just sits near the container and shoots people in a bush and becomes a threat. I want to say this was not that play. I think this guy was just watching around the container and just saw people and he just kept shooting them with a weapon that has scope like zoom without a scope. So no glint so they couldn't see him and he just kept picking people off. That's what I think is happening. Now, you just heard someone relocate the airdrop, right? And now I'm in the open. So, 
Someone could be up here at the helicopter, but someone is definitely behind me. Well, I would stay on that hill, but the game just told me he moved. So he's not up there no more. Where's he at? Well, first of all, I gotta check my front. And this comm station was not used. Which means it's the other one in that direction that I just looked at is one that was used. Okay, alright, so we just got this one guy in front of us to deal with. Or is he leaving? He is near an exit. The game says he's near an exit, but you know it takes a little while to update. He could be somewhere else. Right about now. I thought I was going to check my map. I didn't check the map. Well, I'm just going to run in this area, check the map again, and he is not leaving. What is he doing? If he's not leaving then? Well, let's just keep going forward and maybe we'll catch a glimpse of him. And that is exactly what happens. There are moments in this game where I like to call lightning in a bottle. As in, they're so rare, you gotta document them. This is one of those moments. As you grow and learn this game and learn spawn points because this game doesn't change, you'll realize that, you know, there are times when stuff happens and you're just like, how? You know what I'm saying? So, killing a threat is a lightning in a bottle moment, but killing a threat and then becoming a threat is a lightning in a bottle moment. That's, that's uploaded on my channel as well. But then you have two people becoming a threat in the same match and both being alive. That has not happened yet. AB21 and now we both became threats, but he died and then I became a threat. So, you know, there's that. But people, the 629, let me tell you something, it's great. If you can aim for their chest, it's a solid pistol pick. And I'm honestly glad the developers decided to make this weapon a seasonal challenge because it's fun. Now what I want to see next is a good old MP5K SD3 challenge. That is going to be fun. Fortunately though, or not even fortunately, at the time of this year gameplay being recorded, AB21 invited me to an encounter. So we're going to cut this short because, uh, you know, team encounter. And yeah. Now, when I say team encounter, don't expect it to appear on this here channel. I mean team encounter as in getting ready to stream. And you know what? Now it's coming back to me. I tried the 629 on this map and encounter previous. And then AB21 killed me. Some way, somehow, we got into the same lobby. Then this match happened. Then I invited him or he invited me to a team. And that is when the stream happened. So everyone, I'm going to go ahead and say it. If you don't know, I do got a second channel. And you'll find a link to it in the description down below. And a 629 is great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.